Money International Trust principally invests in uh, global equities. Um, it does have the, the option and the flexibility to invest in fixed income securities, but principally it's a portfolio full of large listed mega cap stocks. The investment process at Murray International Trust is essentially to build a high conviction, so 50 stock portfolio of equities. Uh, we are looking for quality businesses. By that we mean well-managed businesses and companies that are in industries that have attractive structural drivers, strong balance sheets. We like um, strong cash flows, which then feed through into attractive, sustainable uh, and growing dividends. Um, we produce our own research internally. The research is ongoing, so due diligence is carried out continuously on all of the stocks in which we invest in on behalf of shareholders. Uh, and yeah, we leverage off of that by building a high conviction, diversified global portfolio of stocks. Uh, some of the risks would be the foreign exchange. Um, only 5% of the portfolio is in sterling denominated securities. We don't look to mitigate that risk by hedging. However, uh, what we hear from shareholders is that when investing in Murray International, uh, they're looking for that international exposure. And what we've also found over the long term is that uh, the impact from currency um, actually tends to come out in the wash. And um, over time, the impact isn't actually um, that meaningful. So we don't hedge the portfolio. Other than that, risks such as the high conviction nature of the portfolio, we look to mitigate that risk by the ongoing research that we do in companies. Uh, and then also some of the, the positions that we do take in certain parts of the globe. There is a, a sizable allocation to Asia, for example, 12% of the portfolio is in Latin America at the moment. But again, we look to manage that risk by the research that we do here at Murray International. With regards to ESG, there are no negative screens that are carried out on the trust or indeed the investable universe. However, ESG factors are taken into account at the primary point of research. It makes up what we view to be a, a quality business. We take in ESG factors into account at that point. So having full line of sight and an understanding of the risks, but also the opportunities as it relates to ESG on all of the companies that we look at fits into how we view um, whether a company is of suitable quality for investment or not. Uh, so Murray International Trust does use gearing. Um, we have been reducing gearing um, more recently just due to the, the cost of gearing. We ask ourselves quite straightforward questions when it comes to whether we should have gearing um, because it's not always in shareholders' interest. We believe to have it and we don't have to have it. So we have been reducing gearing of late. The gearing that we do have is on a, a very attractive rate, we believe, below 3%. Uh, and when it's in that sort of range, we do believe that over the long term, that sort of a range that you can make money on in having gearing, but we have been reducing it. With regards to uh, managing discounts, um, yes, yeah, discounts have been wide in the industry generally in the last six months plus. Uh, we have been buying back shares in that environment um, and probably more active than we, we have been um, over the last several years. We do issue shares and we were issuing shares last year when the shares were at a premium. But more recently, given some of the, the discounts that we've been seeing and certainly the discount of our own trust, we have been active and more active in buying back shares. In a wider client portfolio, the trust should be viewed as something that would be a bit more uh, defensive in nature, perhaps, as a traditional income portfolio. And by that, we mean that it looks to cover the income, cover the dividend that it pays from the underlying securities of the portfolio. We're not trying to cover it from capital. That does lead to certain style tilts within the portfolio. There is a little bit of a bias towards value. And historically, the trust has always performed more resiliently in a falling market. What the trust isn't is a, a hyper growth allocation. It will not participate in all of the upside, particularly if that upside is being delivered by a, a narrow band of low or indeed no dividend paying companies. That's not what the trust is. The trust is to preserve capital on the downside, 
contribute some of the capital on the upside and deliver a nice um, and solid and covered dividend in the meantime.